my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy and grateful to have you here with me today. Today we have a brand new video testing out two amazing powder foundations. I can't wait to put them to the test. But before we do get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that little notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload. And that's about it, my friends. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So we're going to be testing out two powder foundations today. I'm super excited to test them out because the moment that I got the newer one, I remembered that I have an old favorite that I just love so much and I wanted to put them to the test side by side to see if they're kind of like the same item. I have the first item that I want to talk to you about. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. It is $33. It claims to smooth out your complexion, um, to have a matte finish, and to have buildable coverage. And it's for all skin types. So I absolutely love this foundation. I've been using it for years. If I can look back and think, I think I've been using this since I was 18 years old, since I graduated from high school. And I've been trying to find a powder foundation that is similar to this one and that does all the amazing things that this one does for my skin i want to put that a uh, new foundation to the test against my like super favorite foundation which is this one but this one's a little bit pricey it is 33 dollars okay so this one uh does come with the product right here and it does have a space for your sponge obviously mine is not new this is one that i've had in my collection for a while putting it to the test against the l'oreal infallible powder foundation the 24 hour fresh wear foundation which ranges from 12 dollars to 15 dollars depending on where you purchase it it is a matte finish as well it has this blurring effect on your skin and it's for all skin types as well so they're basically claiming similar things here so i'm super excited to put them to the test to see which one is better or if they're both the same of course they're going to be different shades because if you saw my previous video on this one I did pick up the wrong shade. That was the only shade available. So um, it's going to be very different, but we're going to focus on how it feels on the skin, how it looks uh, based on the texture and the coverage and all of that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start by applying this on this side. This is my right side and I'm going to apply the MAC Cosmetics on my left side. I do have my concealer uh, already on and set powdered down and everything because I knew I was going to do this video. So let's go ahead and try this out. blend this all out I'm gonna go with my brush and kind of pat it in and make sure it's all blended in nicely and now we're gonna move on into the Mac foundation this is actually my color but um, it looks a little bit deeper because the other one is so light I'm gonna go with a brush instead just to diffuse the color. So now that I have my glasses on, you can definitely see this is a little bit lighter or way lighter than this other side because it's not my shade. But we're going to bypass that and we're going to fix it with bronzer and all of that. But when I'm looking at it, like on this mirror right here, it definitely looks the same. It looks like it has the same coverage. It has the same like smoothing uh, finish and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup off camera and I will be right back and give you my final thoughts. I went ahead and added all the rest of my makeup. Here is the MAC side. And here is the L'Oreal side. This is what my makeup looks like. Like seriously, to me it looks exactly the same. Apart from the color, we know I have the wrong shade on this side for the L'Oreal one. But other than that, when I look into my mirror, my makeup looks the same. Like the texture and everything on my skin is absolutely the same. So I think that these two are the exact same thing. Obviously for the MAC Cosmetics, you pay a higher price tag than for the L'Oreal one. I don't know how they're gonna wear throughout the day, so I'm gonna leave it in the description box below which side wears better or if they wear the same. So make sure to check that out. But that's it guys, this is my final thoughts so far. I think they're the absolute exact same thing. 
and I am so excited to have found something that's a little bit cheaper. Let me know what you all thought about this little review and this little comparison of these two powdered foundations. I'm super excited for your thoughts down below. Thank you so much as always guys for being here and for watching my videos and hanging out with me. I am so grateful for you. I will see you on the next video. Bye friends.